Okay, prepping. This is what you want to know. You see it on my top row here, and this is on my desktop, my apps, my app, my drawer right here. I can see InShot, and then right below it is X Record. Okay, the X Record is the screen recorder. That's what you're looking for. Screen record. Right, I just happen to use this one. You know what I'm saying? It's running right now. <laughs> All right, so right, when you open it up, All right? You use to get ads. You know, it's got ads. Right, this is the homepage. All right, okay, this is the one I use. This is not necessarily the one you need to use. I'm saying there's like thousands of other ones. I'm saying, and I'll run you through all that here in a little bit. But first, I just want to, you know, show you which one I use. All right, okay, now. All right, what you want to do first off, right, because you have a better phone than I do now. I mean, I, I got this cheap ass Alcatel. Right, but you, you you still got you still got a phone that's running Android 11 or something like that. I think I think if I remember right, it was a R7 or something like that, G7. But anyways, but this is what you need to do first off. If you need to go to your settings button, you need to touch settings. Then you need to go to apps and notifications. All right. Right. Then click on all your apps so you can see them all. And up here at the top right corner where the three dots are, touch the three dots. And then it says show system. You hit show system. And what that does is, is that opens up all the apps. Oops, but I had to touch it. What that does is that, that opens up this drawer and it shows you all the apps that are on your phone. Now it's going to have all the ones that you're not used to seeing, but like it's going to have ones like these two at the top and two button navigation bar, three button navigation bar. These are apps that, that your phone requires to work, and there are going to be a lot of them, right? Come on. Come on, style this, act right. All right, and so you, what, what you're looking for here is you're looking for to see if you have a screen recorder already loaded in your in your software set. See, these are all software. These are all phone apps right here. But these, your phone needs all this stuff to work, all right? Plus all the other ones that you got, you know, installed or, you know, in here too. All right, but what you're looking for is you're scrolling all the way down here to S, the screen, all right? For screen, Instagram, let's see, marketing, M, M, I, O, uh, here we go, P, Q, R, uh, S. We're looking for S. Okay, so right here, Scam Shield, Secure, Element, Settings, Settings Storage, Settings Suggestions, Set of Wizard Shell, Sim App Dialog, Sim Contacts, Smart Manager, Space Square, Squirkle, Storage Manager, Strava, which is my tracking app, System Tracing, which is a phone app, System Update, which is a phone app, but it's also one that you need to use a lot. Uh, since we don't have a screen recorder app, let's go down a little farther. Right, let's see what we got right down here at the bottom. Right, okay, you should have these three right here apps on your phone YouTube, YouTube Music, and YouTube Studio. And here, see right here at the very top right here, the X Recorder. That's my screen recorder app. See, now if you do, I'm, now I'm just using this X Recorder as an example. This one is an aftermarket app, so it's not going to be on your phone. Right, you have to download this one, but I'm just using it as an example. If you do find a screen recorder app in this list on your phone, right, touch it. Click on it, and then it comes to this page right here, right? Where it says uninstall, it's going to say install, right? What you do is you just go go through like you're installing an app, just like that. You know what to do from here. You touch the install button, and when it finally finishes install, it's going to ask you to open up. When it opens up, then you're going to go to the screen recorder homepage, and then, you know, from there, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. You, you know, the standard ones, right, that come on the phones, on the better phones, are pretty simple, pretty intuitive. They're easy to use. All right, not too bad. Right. If if you don't want to use that one, if for some unknown reason it's a little too complicated for you or whatever, right? Um, I'm gonna we're gonna back out all of this and I'm gonna show you how to, you know, how to find a good app for your phone, right? And which which you know how to install it, all that other junk. You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll get to it here in a little bit. So just hang on. Let me get set up for that. Okay, here we are. So now we're looking for a good screen recorder app for your Android phone, right? So you can go to the Play Store at the top. Uh, you know, actually at the bottom, go down here to apps, make sure you're in the right slot. And just touch screen recorder for Android phone, because that's what you got, or type it in. Screen recorder for Android phone, and it pops up all of these. You have literally <laughs> zillions, I mean zillions, 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 zillions. And they're, they're all good, they're all, you know, they all do what they do. Right? This one's only got two stars right here, but you know, they all do what, you know, basically the same thing. Some have different features. Right, other two, you know, export, import, whatever, you know, thing I see is this one right here, this white one with the white, with the red camera screen recorder, and that one's pretty good. All right, uh, a couple other ones, 
right? This one right here, screen recorder for, you know, for Google is good, right? You know what I'm saying? And you, and you can, you know, type in, you know, whatever you want, your phone, right? You're saying whatever, right? Your phone model, whatever, and it's going to, you know, come up with all kinds of crazy apps. Okay. The reason I use X-Record, right, is because I use InShot. I started using this app not too long ago. So this, this is the editing app right, for a phone editor. All right. And uh, right, it allows me to edit video that I make in sand and do all kinds of crazy other stuff. Well, it's pretty good. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? And so I kept it on my phone. So what I did was, right, is I went in here into the apps. Right, and I searched for, oops, you know, get out there. Gotta move that down. I searched for InShot. Oops. Screen. Recorder. Right. And it gave me a bunch of, you know, a bunch of the ones. Right. I recommend it for you. See, there's all kinds of different ones. See, there's screen screen recorded audio, screen recorded app, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's tons of them. I right? pick one right here. That's, oh, let's see. Uh, let's just go back to here. Let's pick this first one. Huh? Right? Okay, you, you know about, you know, the ads and all that. So when it says ads, it's ads, don't click on it. But this one here is made by InShot. Right, that's you know that that's why I use this one. You know where I use another one. You know, right, I already have this one. See, so you just open it. That right, brings me into here. All right now, the way you use this one. All right, this is just the ad. Yes, to have the ad because remember it's a third-party developer. All right, the way you use this one is down here at the bottom. For on this one, on this app, all the navigation is always at the bottom. You got your video, you got your pictures, you got your editor, you got your system, you know, your gears, your settings, and stuff. And then in the middle, right, is the on is the record and stop button right there. Right, and then each one of these files in front of you, the one at the top is the one I just made. This is the first part of this video. Right, the second one is is a video is a screen record. I did it, screen capture. I did it, some gameplay that I did. It. One of the games I play. And this bottom one is just a test recorder. The very first one I did. When I, when I installed this app, All right? So, you know, I mean, it, any good screen record app is going to have information, right? It's going to give you information right, about your phone. It's like here at the top. I was underneath X recorder. You see how it's, it says it's got my storage. It's got 23.07 gigabytes total storage on my phone, All right? All right? Slash 6.26 gigabytes. It's open, right? And then right here on the left, it says 45 minutes and 28 seconds can still be recorded. Right, a good screen recorder app is going to give you information like that. Right, if you have any questions, you just go up here to the little, you know, and then it, it has all of these questions, right, that you can ask these in your FAQs, right, that, that if you have any problems, you just, you know, you just click on it, opens it up, it gives you a little blurb, and then you figure, you know, oh, yeah, it gives you information, yeah, you know, it gives you, it has crash reports, it has why, why my sound is not working, why my video is not working? Does the quality of the video get bad when, the, when I share it with other platforms? Is the answer to that one is yeah, high image quality may be compressed by the platform you share too. You can send the original file manually to ensure quality, right? Okay, what's the platform you're sharing it to? For you, it would be YouTube, right? And YouTube does compress them, right? But anyways, it records. It, has, it answers all these questions for you. It even has the privacy stuff, you know what I'm saying? And you can give them feedback if you want, right? So, I mean, a good screen recorder app is going to, is going to have some semblance of this. This is the reason why I use this one. It's really a good one. Right? I like it. It integrates good. It's the output, the output videos, right? I think are MP4, right? You know, dot .mp, dot .mp4, right? So they integrate really good, you know what I'm saying, with, with your editing tools that you have on your laptop, right? I mean, this this machine, this this app is like, the you know, for me, it's right now, the best one that I'm, I'm using, right? So... Let's close her down. Let's close her down. Oops, look, man, I'm doing this outside because it's nice and sunny right now, and Teresa's asleep, and the, the, the TV's playing, and I don't want to turn the sound down because she needs the sound to sleep, so I came outside. It's really nice how it's sunny. It's warm. It's like 70-something degrees. And it's got a little breeze to it. Right, but anyways, I'm saying that's how you do it, prepping. Right, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for all that cool stuff. 
Well, let's close this, this here. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to say thank you. This is me, Brian, showing you how to you know, find a good screen record app for your Android phone. Thank you.